like six months since I uploaded a video. And I'll tell you why. Well, first off, this game has not been updated in a year now, so. So, yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading East one. I upload one Fortnite video and Fortnite's garbage too now. Because I quit for a little bit because I didn't find it fun and I'm not going to go back to try to get good again. It's just, there's no point doing it. This game, it's a little bit different than that. You, your progress is saved. So, uh, it's not like you don't, your skill level decreases. But yeah, so I've been actually, I have an alt now. I don't know if I had it before. Alpha Diamond Wolf. So yeah, and then here's my main. Um, today I actually got two gifted mythics. Uh, oh, there's my main. Um, we got a Vector B, which is, I think, uh, which one was it? Was it this one? I think it was this one. I don't know why I'm trying to click on it. So, yeah, it was this one right here, and then it was this fuzzy here. Two gifted mythics, and I also got a... I got a gifted baby as well. Yeah, uh, there's some distractions going on right now, so, yeah. But, um, my mom can't talk the fuck that. Okay, anyway, so, what we're gonna be going over is how to get ready for Beastmas. And sometimes you go into Beastmas, you don't know what you're doing. You, you're lost, and I'm. I've been lost. I'm kind of lost this year, but I'll tell you what's going down. So first off, there's going to be a new blue mythic bee. It's called the Buoyant Bee. It's a little bee with a clown hat on it. Uh, it summons an ability, which is balloon, a balloon ability, and it it basically converts your high for you. It's really good if you're AFK or macroing. So yeah, and then also. There's these new gifted frogs, which are really good as well. They spawn yellow bubbles. So it's really blue high is getting a big nerve this, this, uh, these ones. So yeah. Um, so let's start with that. How to build your high from these ones. Well, first off, you want to start grinding. And you don't want to spend your hunt. You want to save your hunt. Unless, unless you know it's going to make you a ton of hunt over the next few months. Or a few weeks. So... Like, if you make a change to your hive, make sure it's a big one so it can help you. Because you don't want to just waste a bunch of honey and it not doing it. So you want to save your honey and build your hive once Beastmas comes out. Because then you can make a crap ton of honey with festive beans and everything. Make teas and everything. So yeah, there's that. Now what I like to do is, Beastmas is supposed to be fun, right? I mean, Beastmas is the best time of year for Beast One Punch. I've, I've told this to many people. Beastmas is when every every player comes out. You see old guys. I remember last year I used to see guys. They'd have porcelain dipper. Um, like they'd have like the full 50 bees, and they didn't even have pedal on and stuff because they haven't they hadn't played when pedal on came out. So it brings players back, and that's when I like Beastmas. That's why I like Beastmas. Another thing is get get um get a group. Become friends with good people. Because when you do that, people will come in, help you grind, and do things like that. What I wanna do is I wanna find a fuzzy hive to help me grind. Because fuzzy hives they make the fields so much better. Um pollen haze and um and the other ability are super good for grinding, so yeah. Another thing you want to do is you want to take out your stump snail, your coconut crab, your um, tunnel bear. You just want to, if depending on how good you are, you want to get eggs. That's the main thing. Get eggs. And if you have like a good hive like me, like you don't need to spend, like for me, buying ticket, buying star treats or tickets is pointless because I can just sit here in the field all day and get sunflower seeds so I can make my vector bees gift stuff like that. That's how I got my vector bee gifted and my fuzzy bee gifted was I just had a lot of treats. So what I like to do is I like to come in here and buy a gold egg. That's what I like to do. 
buy a gold egg, and I like to donate. I really wish that they still had um, this, the gift, or the good memory match from last year. I think it was overpowered. You could easily get eggs. It was great, and I wish I would have used it a lot more because then I could get diamond mask. I really want diamond mask because quests that require blue, it's gonna help you a lot because it gives you, you know, the blue boost. Like white high, or low gummy mask. Obviously, it gives you a white high boost. So that's why I wanted. I want diamond mask. I have a red. I have a demon mask, but I don't have diamond mask. Another thing is, like I was saying about your friends, you want to get a good group of friends that will help you grind. You'll help them out. It's just a good time to spend time with people. It's a good community, uh, community event. So yeah, like I was saying before, on it he hasn't been updating the game. So that's why. I think this it, this beastmas could go one or two ways. Either there's nobody playing, because everyone just gave up, or there's a ton. I don't know. I think it might be the second half, because like people have been waiting for a long time for this. I'll tell you guys right now, I'm not going to wait another year for an update. I think I might quit if, if uh, he doesn't update the game. So, yeah. Another thing is, I know it's kind of dumb, but... <laughs> If you can, if there's a festive bean pack, you gotta get it, okay? You've got to get festive bean pack in here. Festive beans are the most important item in the game. You need to get festive beans. Alright, so now let's talk about, um, let's go over here and, oh shoot, I forgot to play my music. <laughs> Alright. But, uh, yeah, so now, you gotta get a private server, okay? Private servers are very important. With a, with good players, it's gonna lag horribly. So you gotta get a private server. It's gonna be a lot harder to boost in a public server. So get a private. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, complete your quests, get resources. Uh, make sure you use sprouts. And get wealth clock, do all that. Commando trick, just defeat mobs. Do everything you can. And uh, I think you should be good. Good for business. Like I said, the main, the most important point is, you got, you just got to, uh, you got to save up your honey. And I know I didn't do it, because I was impatient, but, yeah, you got to do it. And another thing, this will be huge for you guys. If you guys macro, um, you have to build up a red hive. I'm telling you, red hive is pro AFK. White hive? Like myself, I'm gonna go flying out of this field every. Like, you don't make crap in these fields because you're gonna fly out of the field. So, that's why you have to build a red hive. Please, I'm telling you right now, and it will work. Build a red hive. Build a red hive, get a solo scorch, and then boom. Macro. You'll make a ton of honey, trust me. Another thing is, please, go one color. I don't know why. I have a best friend named Carter. He's trying, but he never he always ends up doing something else. He, he tries to build one hive color and then he just ends up with a crap ton of rascal beasts. Because he's trying to be a red hive. So trust me, please, go watch a video of people building their hive up to be a good red hive. Don't try to do it on your own, it doesn't work. I'm trying to build my hive off Rios, the number one player in the world. So yeah. And I'm also trying to, and he's also, um, the number one, he's a white high player too. So yeah, that's why I'm building my high up here. Some of these guys, like Yolo, build your hive on him. Oh my goodness, oh no, that's icy. Yeah, that's another thing. Like I was saying, I kind of drilled off, went on to some other point. You've got to go into, I, I recommend going into the IC server, or not his server, but his... Uh, streams because it's the best way to know what's coming. He he's gonna play Test Realm a lot. He's gonna play the game a lot. So subscribe to him. I'll put his links down below. I'll put an Accenture's link to Macro. I'll make a video on that. I guess. But I recommend going to train out Accenture's video. So yeah. Another thing is you gotta get your jelly beans. Yeah, get your jelly beans. And yeah, I think that's it. I kind of went on a bunch of stuff. Uh, watch the video over if you have to. I'm not trying to get these. I'm just saying, it'll, if it if it will benefit you, 
by watching it over again, do it, do, watch it over again. I don't care if you watch it. Watch it twice. You can, it's your decision. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. That's it. Uh, see you guys in the next video. I might film another one later today. Um, so, yeah. See you guys all later. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Hope you guys have a good Beesmas. Uh, so, yeah, peace out.